Here he is one of the light motive of Ein Heldenleben by Richard Strauss. In my opinion, it's the most difficult of the Strauss uh, uh, symphonic poem. Um, why? Because there are a lot of difficult passages, uh, a lot of notes, and you have to play with Strauss sound, which is completely different from Beethoven or Mozart. It's like uh, if you play uh, Kusevisky. <laughs> Here we usually make two mistakes. One is to have not the right rhythm. One, two, one. Here. Two, three. So one, two, one. then triplet. Crescendo. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Here we have a triplet in forte piano and then piano. So we have to play one, two, three. Crescendo. And then big number five, we have fortissimo. difficulties are not all only the notes, but to do also the right color if you have fortissimo and if you have mezzo forte it's different. But you can see that it's almost the same uh, way, it's triplet. It's uh, um, like uh, a kind of arpeggio. Once you, you, you find your way of studying or fingering, it's still the same. Uh, and after we have big number nine, which is an explosion. It's still the same, 
study the arpeggio and make the most beautiful sound you can uh, get out from your instrument. Then we have completely different big number 15 um, nine measure after nine bars after we have big number 15 nine bars after Here we have a very romantic moment and you have to respect piano. Ricrescendo, vibrato, diminuendo, crescendo, sforzato, diminuendo. So, make the exact color which Strauss has written and make a beautiful, beautiful vibrato. There are a lot of difficult passages, but it's impossible to show all in, in, in one video. So, for example, we have uh, After 19. As you can see, there are this, always the same in G, in A, in E bemol, in D, in C. So you have to study, only to study, but it's still the same, the same way to play. Yes, there are, for example, 21, which is... Which is only difficult, but you have just to start. And then. Another completely different moment it's big number 24, which is in pianissimo. Then twenty five. Crescendo. And then twenty six. After twenty five, we have big number twenty seven, still the same but with glissato. Big number 28, still the same with the glissato and crescendo. Another interesting moment is big number 13. And then often conductor ask the double basses to play Big number 40. Why? Because there is this uh, 
rhythmical difficulties of the triplet after the arpeggio. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, one. And then we have the explosion, a big number 77.